Do not try this at home. Most savage thing I've ever tried. It's got fluffed. There are huge stacks. No! Today we're doing the climbing up in stakes challenge. We're all starting at one two with two hundred dollars. Once you get five hundred, you can come play two five. And once you get a thousand, you can come play five ten. Whoever gets the most time at five ten wins the challenge. Playing for five hours today, and whoever doesn't make it to five ten gets punished. We're introducing again the Mr. Wheel from a few videos ago. The last thing I want to do right now. Hundred jumping jacks. Hey, you're a trooper. It's gonna have five brand new punishments. Here are the punishments. And you spin the wheel right up to you get pocket aces, little bittersweet. You play your aces, then you gotta spin. We're trying to double up, make it to 510. Let's see who can do it today. Let's get started right now. In literally my first hand dealt, we get king, queen of hearts. I'm still putting my freaking things down, and I have to three bet. Ugh. We got four hearts total now, so we continue for a bet of $35, and he makes the call. The turn comes the king of spades. We have less than a pot sized bet left. We might have too much of this board, honestly, but we still go all in. Rosie, I'm all in first hand. No, you're not. Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh. <laughs> he decides to fold, but we're still really excited with our first win. Oh my god, he's such a lucky really nice. cool. First hand, Gotta brag to Rosie a little bit. We have ace four in the small bun facing 4,000 limpers. I got no idea if I should raise this hand because they're not gonna fold if I make it less than $50. I limp in and the flop comes ace six four. Great, I lead out for $10 and there are four callers. Wishing I would a check raise right about now. Turn is the three of hearts. The plot thickens. We bet $35 now. There's one, two, and three calls. Who genuinely thinks a clean river is coming? It's the five of clubs. The best hand just became a bluff catcher. I check, big blind checks, lawyer position bets $100. Next, bozo folds, and I'm sitting here with the player behind me hating my f***ing life. We had such a pretty hand before. Frankie, snap out of it. We don't have to pay this dude off right now. Great hands get swept in the slums on bad runouts all the time. We make a very disciplined fold and the big blind snap calls. My guy in early position shows queen six offsuit that he turned into a bluff and the big blind tables the good old five three offsuit making us feel like a real piece of shit right now. <laughs> If we would have called there, we actually would have been at two five. On to the next. You know things are about to get crazy if we're showing a bomb pot hand. First flop comes seven seven five, and the second comes king queen eight. I never look at my hand before the flop comes out, so I can visualize what would be the nut hand to have in the spot. And clearly, the seven of clubs would be the best card to have right now. We go ahead and peel our top card dealt, and I'll be damned, we got the seven of clubs, wanna come for a ride to value town, and the next card is the four of clubs, giving us a flush draw to go along with trips. We could scoop both boards here and be well on our way to two five. Rosie leads out for $40, and guys, He's got a good hand if he's potting it first to act. But I'm not going anywhere at all. And in fact, I'm going to wager all of my chips because I want to fold out spade flush draws and better club draws from the people behind me. This is a huge spot. We're all in for $220. We've got a beauty up top, nothing down low. Folds to Frankie who goes all in for just over 200. This is going to be a fun video. And then it gets to the cutoff who re jams for 650. We started the hand with a little over 200 ourselves. As long as we're not up against 5-5 or 7-5, we're in great shape to take half. And if we give Frankie a chance to scoop versus this guy, it could send him to 2-5. So we need to get in there and gamble. We are all in. I, I can't fold, but I hope, no, you don't have, don't. I hope you don't have a pocket five. Oh, no. You do? Things aren't going as I imagined them to when I first peeled that seven of clubs. We all table our cards before the run out. The cutoff shows. Pocket fives, lovely. And Frankie shows seven four of clubs for weaker trips and a flush draw. If the hand ended right now, Frankie and I would both get scooped. So we're off to a rocky start, but there's five cards to a run out. Let's see them all. Jack of clubs, six of diamonds, no help. Jack of diamonds and a nine. That means we counterfeit pocket fives. That means we're chopping the top one up with Rosie, but we are losing the bottom one to a pair of fives. So we're gonna end up losing about $20 at the end of this one. We take a small loss getting quartered, but it feels like a win given what the cutoff had. We stay at one, two for now. Here we got queen jack on the button. We open to 25 over a bunch of limbs and we get two callers off to a flop. Ace jack, jack, two diamonds, let's go. Both players check, we bet 50, one of them calls. Think of the worst turn card in the deck, guys. Yes, that's right. It comes the ace of hearts. 
He checks, we check. River's interesting, it's a black queen, and he checks again. I think we go for the thinnest of thin value. I don't think he has an ace, so he probably has close to nothing. We bet $15, he looks very annoyed, but makes the call, we show, and we win. Every ounce of value counts today. We scoop a 100 big blind one two pot, and we're one decent pot away from leveling up in this challenge. The timer's set for five hours, ready to climb these stakes and make it to the glorious 510 table with the big boys. And after getting anxious to be involved, we miss a flush out with king three hearts in a multi-way pot, end up firing a big bluff on the river versus two players. The next player immediately goes all in for $50 more, and when it folds back to me, I embarrassingly fold. To top it all off, the other player said if the other guy had folded, he was gonna snap call. Lesson number one million on why to never bluff at one two, but luckily we don't need to bluff when we pick up pocket aces. I make it 20 over a limp and end up going three ways to a board of king a8 rainbow pretty safe board and the limper leads now for $30. This immediately raises alarm bells for me because this guy was not only tight, he was also really passive. I don't expect this to ever be a bluff and I wouldn't be surprised if he just flopped trips. I call and the next guy folds. When the turn comes a brick, this guy continues for $35 this time. I again am never going anywhere for this price and the river brings another insignificant card and we faced what we really didn't want to see and all in for $95. You know the feeling of playing against a passive player facing a bet who you know is just not bluffing, but you pay him off anyways because you just can't resist. It is the most tilting thing ever, especially when you're shown the nuts over and over again in those scenarios. But I'm not gonna fall for it here. I fold face up, showing the knit I'm not gonna pay him off. And he shows King 10 off suit. So that was a I am immediately steaming. My face becomes hot. I got played. And better yet, I have to spin the wheel too. I just got bluffed. And you have to spin the wheel. And the guy just like proudly showed me a worse hand. I was like, are you kidding me? Let's head to the wheel. All right, our first spin of the day. This is where I just got bluffed. I'm so hungry. And behind one of, behind the orange door lies Jack's So there's two food spins. Food, 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 food. No! Yes! yes! It's food! Oh it's food! God. It's food! It's food! It's food! No, no. It's food! It's food. <laughs> That's a 20% chance. Our stack is back down to 200 at the slums of 1 2. We got pocket kings to rocket ship us up to 510. I three bet to $30 over a $10 raise and they make the call. Flop comes two, ace, king. We flop a set and now I wish I had more money right about now. I bet $20 and he makes the call. The turn is a six and we're setting up three streets of value. I make it $65 to go and he comes along with the call. The river is a four and we stick it in for the last $90 and our opponent must have heard about this challenge or something because he makes the call and gets us back up to over $400. We're stacking it up and we are so close to 500, come on. Freaking bluffed with aces. I can't believe I folded on the river and to serve a punishment, I have to go get the boys food. Hopefully we'll make it quick. Okay, right now I'm $30 away from the two five tables, but I'm so confident I'm just gonna double up right away. Let's go check out the five ten table. And let's see what it looks like. Let's see the stacks, see competition. I know I'm gonna go there and make some money. Back secure. Looking for one more big one, and we see an ace and then a king. Here we go. Under the gun straddles to $5. We're plus one and open to 20. Button calls and the straddler three bets to 80. This is our moment. We go all in for around 325 and it folds back to the straddler who immediately calls. If we win this, we advance to 25. Let's Good head to the chance. run out. We show and we win versus what he says with pocket tens. We are off to 25 by 1 2. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. They didn't even let us inside. Yeah, we are eating it in the car, but um, we are eating nonetheless. Still battling in the 1-2 trenches, we stack a short stack with pocket tens to chip up a little bit, and then immediately win a solid pot with ace 10. These two hands bring us up to a $500 stack, and we're finally upgraded to the two five streets. Let's go. Welcome to 2-5, baby. First notable hand at our new stakes we look down at. Oh my gosh. Pocket aces, you've got to be kidding me. We grinded to get here and now we're at the mercy of the wheel. I got aces, I raised, two callers, checked the flop, 
and I bet the turn, and they both told me. A small pot. Yeah, small, so super small fun. pot. But, but so you won at least. So I won, but it was. Oh, I think food would be nice, because I don't have to like switch among the list. If you get food, get this dessert. You didn't mix them up. Kilo. Kilo. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> How am I even gonna play He's that? gonna lose his whole stack at PLO. But that was the only one I didn't want was PLO. <laughs> Send me to one two before PLO. This is gonna be the best sweat of your life. <laughs> We play a pretty fun hand right away at 2-5 with Ace-5 and Action Player limps and we raise it up to $35 on the button. The big blind isn't going to let us isolate this guy, he makes a call and so does the limper. Flop is A-7-4 and it checks to me. I'm going to play it safe, I check this one back. Turns a 9 and it's the third diamond on the board. It checks to me again though, so I'm pretty sure we've got the winner currently, but our hand is pretty vulnerable. I bet $45, the big blind folds and now the limper raises to 105. He's shown that he likes to bluff, and it's a pretty cheap price to see a river, so I call for 60 more. River is the fourth diamond, and it's a queen. I hate this card, but the limper seems to hate it too because he frustratingly checks really quickly. I doubt we have the best hand at this point, but we definitely can have plenty of hands that just improved on this card. I'm going to pretend like we have one of those. I put the pressure on by wagering $225, and this guy hates it. He gives his cards one more look, shows me queen nine for the river two pair, and folds! We get it through against a hand I certainly didn't expect to see. We are in the 2-2 Omaha streets, ladies and gentlemen. Under the gun, we look down at 10-9-8-7 double suited. That looks beautiful. We bought into Omaha for 200, but we got about 675 in our stack for the challenge, remember? So we just need to win 325 here, and we can make it to 510 and get on that leaderboard. Omaha could very well set me back as well. I put in two dollars, two others do the same, Lojack makes it 14, we end up calling and going six ways to a flop, which comes 10-8-3 rainbow. Pretty magical, top two pair, open-ended straight draw, we check and it checks all the way to the button who blind pots it for 90, yes, he has not looked at his cards yet. When it gets to me, Frankie and Jack have made their way over to the table and I already know what time it is. We go all in for 186 effective, one guy folds and one of the limpers reshoves all in. Oh my god, it folds to the button who now looks at his cards and he folds. I was trying to get in there with Rosie, man. Yeah. Oh no, I'm going blind, man. I know. Hit me on the oh, YouTube channel. You because of this set. blind pot, if we win this hand, we will actually profit 325 and be able to go to 510. So let's head to the run out. Who would have thought my biggest fear would turn into my biggest savior? We have now made it up to a thousand total. Let's win this challenge. I looked down at pocket aces. I'm really excited about it because I'm so close to $500, but, but the dealer forgot to deal the small blind their second card. So I shouldn't even have this hand right now. But there was an early position limp before anyone realized that only one card was dealt to the small blind. So now the floor has to come over and give a ruling whether the hand stays because there's been significant action or not. There was no significant action. It would just be a misdeal because there's already a two-fold and a four-fold. There we go. So, oh, I thought he said it's a dead hand. Excuse me. So your ace is playing. <laughs> I'm going to crack him though. Don't worry. The hand must stay, so we have pocket aces, we raise over a limp, and we get one call. Flop comes jack, 10 deuce, we see bet for 20, and they snap fold, putting us on aces, because I guess my acting was really bad. I totally gave up the strength of my hand, oh well. You really wanted your cards to stay. I really, really did. We sit down at 510 with a measly $1,050, and our time at the highest stakes begins. See those yellow chips on those stacks? Those are a thousand each, so it's safe to say we are the shortest stack by a mile. That's all good, we've got plenty, we're ready to battle and be here all night. Second hand dealt, we're in the big blind and we look down at- Oh sh here we go again. You have just absolutely got to be kidding me. Yeah, pocket aces, as if it couldn't get worse. Straddles on to 25, folds to me, I open to 60, and the straddler folds. Yup, that's it, to the wheel. 
Today's vid is sponsored by our other favorite DGen activity, Fantasy Football, with Underdog Fantasy and the biggest fantasy football tournament of all time, Best Ball Mania 4. Super easy to enter, just download the Underdog Fantasy app, draft your team, and that's it, because Underdog picks your lineup weekly to create the highest scoring one, and first place takes home a cool $3 million. Get signed up using the link in our description or through the App Store, and using promo code NGP will get you your first deposit doubled up to 100 bucks. Good luck, guys. So passive aggressive, like everyone at this table is shadowing. Like, is it a mandatory straddle? They're like, no, but everyone's doing it. Doesn't sound mandatory to me. I think we need to focus right now on spinning this damn wheel because he might get demoted. Oh, it's time for the wheel of prizes! I got it first. Oh, you have to do it? You got aces. We both got aces. I don't remember what this one was. You remember? No. Why are you getting so close to me? I don't know. What is it? Give, Give a spin. A spin. Oh, <laughs> Dude, give Rosie another uh, spin so you can get the money. Rosie, go first and out the side. <laughs> okay. Is that legal? Yeah, that's legal. He can use it whenever he wants. First. All right, I don't remember that being. I don't remember that being clarified. Oh, I don't think we've gotten green oh, before. Green. Green. Or, or okay, well, what if it's promotion? What happens? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You're at the yeah. Top. Okay, fine. Nothing. King. Nothing yeah. happens. Yeah, that's. Good. There would not be promotion. Be oh, it's it's up or down in stakes. Promotion. No! <laughs> wow. Twenty-five fifty. Spin again. In the car. Oh yeah. I feel like I could have saw that coming. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it either. All right, so green. I know that green was the up and stay. There's two greens. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So it just needs to be the same green. Uh-oh. I think it's the same. Move down the stakes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we hop back on the 2-5 list, which is super long. We look at the clock, we see not much time left, so we're essentially stuck in purgatory, having to hope that our five minute stint at 510 is enough to win this challenge. We've got about $800 in front of us, looking to cross that $1,000 mark to make it to the promised land, and we get a chance to do a pocket fives playing 2-5-10. There's an open at 30, a call, I call on the button, and so does the big line and the straddler. This pot is juicy, and if we can bink a five, I would be quite happy. Ace King four rainbow is not the flop I wanted to see, but surprisingly enough, it checks around to me. I'm gonna check, and there it is. That beautiful five of clubs on the turn, bink a rooski. One guy bets $60, our buddy Ryan calls, and it's time to pump this pot up. I make it $240 to go. My heart is racing. I'm excited to win this pot and finally reach 510. It folds around one by one and tilts back on Ryan, and he announces all in. I can't put my chips in there fast enough. He just called preflop, so he should never have aces or kings, and we head to one river card for all of the money. Good luck, Jack. It all comes down to this. We are stacked, devastated, and have failed the challenge. Although we lost it all, it went to my friend and an OG supporter of the channel who is also a Discord member, so there's always a silver lining. Back to the fun side. <laughs> no way. I'm going home. You're going home? You're calling Cliff? You're still 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes to go from one, like, two. One, two. It's like a couple of bings. That's why am I here? You're the best <laughs> sweat yeah. of your life. I don't know. So currently it is at the five hour mark. So Frankie has about. 20 or so minutes to get to 2-5 and then get to 5-10. To say he needs a miracle is an understatement. With Jack and Rosie watching behind me, I'm desperate to get to 5-10 in 30 minutes. That stack of red you see in front of me is a 3-bit, and yes, my hand is Jack 6 offsuit. I'm about to do something really, really dumb. The under the gun razor, yes, the tightest range of the table is our only caller. We go to a flop of 10, 9, 5, 2 hearts. This is when our villain takes the lead for $40. And when most sane human beings would throw away their cards, I see where most people don't, two backdoor straight draws. So with both boys at my back, I make the call. The turn comes and it doesn't improve our hand at all, which isn't saying much since we have jack six offsuit in a three bet pot. Now he continues betting, but this time he down bets to 25. Ooh. I'm like a shark sniffing blood in the water, except blood to me is a way to take down this pot and get to 510. My hands literally don't want to listen to what my brain is telling me to do, but it reluctantly puts the chips in 
in the middle and I call again. The river brings in the front door flush and our villain bets $25 again, this time into a pot of $200. Literally, he never has a flush with this bet. I go for the jugular, all you can eat, baby. I could only imagine what Jack and Rosie are thinking behind me watching this hand unfold. Our villain makes us sweat for a full two minutes in the tank before he decides to fold. Ace 10 offsuit face up. And it takes every single inch of my body not to show my hand. I decide not to because his girl's behind him. I'm not trying to ruin relationships tonight. Joke's on me though because I still don't have $500 and our 30 minute timer quickly expires before I ever make it to 2-5. That's the most savage hand I've ever played in my life. And, I'm still and you're still in last five. place. <laughs> Jack went home early, so we are the two biggest losers. Make sure to subscribe guys. The next video, we have an awesome challenge in our costumes that I just hate.